friends welcome back to busy math channel so if you are new here then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon as i am going to soon coming with important topics videos mcqs and clinical based questions related videos on all the mbbs first year subjects today i am going to discuss about the ulna nerve before that please watch my two videos on alnana which i had already posted in first video i discussed about the introduction of alnana and detailed explanation of alnana course in the second video i explain the alnana course with the help of diagram so this is the third video of alnana in which i am going to explain about the relations and the branches of alnana so starting with relations of alnana first in a ulnar nerve runs medially in a ulnar nerve runs medially as we know that ulnar nerve is present medially hence in a ulnar nerve runs medially at the level of cuboidal fossa it present behind the medial epicondyle so when the ulnar nerve it crosses the elbow joint so it passes behind the medial epicondyle of the humerus at the level of cuboidal fossa at the level of cuboidal fossa present behind the medial epicondyle of the humerus as we know we have in humerus lateral epicondyle and medial epicondyle ulnar nerve is present medially so it passes behind the medial epicondyle of the humerus when it enters the forearm it present between the two heads of the flexor carpi ulnaris and in between the two muscles flexor digitorum profundus and flexor digitorum superficialis anteriorly in the forearm so in fora ulnar nerve is present between the two heads of flexor carpi ulnaris and between the two muscles that is flexor digitorum profundus and flexor digitorum superficialis flexor digitorum superficialis anteriorly now at the wrist it is anterior to the flexor retinaculum at the wrist it is anterior to flexor retinaculum so this is about the relations of the ulnar nerve see with the help of diagram ulnar nerve in the arm ulnar nerve in the arm runs medially and it passes behind the medial epicondyle of the humerus first relation second relation first it runs medially in the arm second relation 
is it passes behind the medial epicondyle of the humerus at the level of cubital fossa. In the forearm, it present passes between the two heads of the flexor carpi annarius and in between the two muscles that is the flexor digitorum profundus and flexor digitorum superficialis anteriorly and at wrist at wrist the ulnar nerve it passes over the flexor retinaculum at the wrist the ulnar nerve it passes over the flexor retinaculum and in the arm it divides into two branches that is the superficial branch and deep branch so first relation that it is passing medially in the arm second relation passes behind the medial epicondyle of the humerus third relation between the two heads of the flexor carpi annatus it passes fourth relation between the two muscles that is the flexor digitorum profundus and flexor digitorum superficialis anteriorly in the forearm fifth relation at the wrist it passes over the flexor retinaculum so this is about the relations of the anana